hello hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new please do make sure you subscribe girl okay subscribing is for free nobody's gonna take any coins okay and stop telling me that my english is blah 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 and you're not even subscribe y'all want me to perform magic you want me to come back here with the stories and give you my two cents and y'all don't want to even do even subscribe okay so subscribing is for free you know familiarize yourself with that so anyway we're jumping right into it today we're talking again about Udineo Ranaka okay it hasn't been a month since I've talked about her but yeah we're talking again about her so she is again in the waters with a girl named U Felicia Zwane who is Felicia Zwane Felicia Zwane is a makeup uh, artist uh, and then uh, she does her makeup looks girl and she is popping her makeup looks a bomb Okay, but yay. Okay, Michelin Damase is the perfect makeup artist in the world girl But there's girls like this that are like doing looks like real looks girl. Okay, and you know you never even hear anything about them so a little bit of a story there. Ooh, Dino Ranaka. She has her own makeup a brand. Uh, I've never heard of it, but uh, I found out it's called uh, Love DR Beauty, something like that. Anyway, uh, so she was hired to come and uh, promote her makeup brand. Okay, as you can see, Felicia Zwani demands a payment from Dineo Ranaka. Felicia says she was hired by Dineo to promote her makeup brand, Love Dior, on the 3rd and 4th of December 2021. Felicia says the agreed rate was 550 rand per hour and Dineo wants to pay her only 1,000 rand alone. Like, why? Okay, that is not right, girl. And then it goes on to say now that Dineo Ranaka is accusing Felicia Zwane of stealing products worth 3,000 rands and says the matter is being investigated. This comes a month after, a month uh, later after Felicia demanded her payment. Felicia demands she be paid for the seven hours of work done and between the the two days and now she's coming up with all these stories girl uh ooh, she's now saying that ooh, 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 she stole her her makeup uh products worth three thousand you for real makeup for three thousand really that makeup is from china girl and you you're demanding to be paid three thousand come on now here girl you but be you better pay that girl she did her work she did all that she was asked to do. And why are you now coming up with stories? So it means maybe her products are not being bought, allegedly. So she does not have the money to pay her. That is slavery, daylight slavery. You can't hire people to come do the work and they do the work and you now refuse to pay them? Where they do that at? Where they do that at, ma'am? Ma'am, just can you... You you work. She is in this industry, the entertainment industry, the so-called entertainment, South African entertainment industry. Would she work and not get paid? She would cause a sting. We've seen her like casting out that that poor, poor man. OK, we saw the video. She was yelling and talking. So imagine her working, working for free. Who works for free? This is 2022, ma'am. You better pay up. Pay that girl. So I have a few screen grabs for you that were messages between Dineo Ranaka and Felicia Zwane. So they read as follows. Hey sis, wanted to find out when will we receive payment since no one's been communicating with us. Thanks. And that was December 8th. All right. So December 10th, she sends another message. Hi Dineo, it's been a week already. There's no communication from you or any of your team members. It's so disappointing, really. I'm the one trying to reach out and I'm being ignored. That's unethical. I was under the impression that I would have received payment by now, seeing that you had asked for banking details before I left. Hmm. And then comes on the 20th of December. This is on 2021, okay? May you please pay me before you really make me to seem like I'm someone that I'm not. You're really testing me and my patience. All right. So I have another screen grab here. Okay. Just hold on for me. 
So this one, it says, uh, I think Udineo had responded, says, my office and legal team will be in touch with you to firstly give clarity on what your industry rates are based on our research, as well as to address your, your threat and give a professional official response to your payment incurred. Wow. And then on the 21st, December, 2021, Felicia says, first of all, you are in the industry. You should know the rates by now and could have negotiated with me if you had a problem with my rates before agreeing or letting me work those hours. It's been over three weeks trying to communicate with you and your team. And only now you are doing investigations on rates after I've worked. The explo That's exploitation. You are the one com uh, complicating things here. I've been contacting you and Funi all along and literally none has been communicating with me. If this had anything to do with respect, appreciation and value, we wouldn't be here right now. What I've communicated to you was not a threat, but the truth. I don't have to go through all of this if you had done everything accordingly and professional. Girl, girl, she spoke, okay? The lady spoke. And then Udineo uh, came back and said, Good morning. Firstly, I don't uh, take <laughs> kindly to threats. Secondly, I have an entire office to process my business affairs through. Your payment is pending. It's dues process as well as investigation of what your industry's daily rates are as well an internal inquiry on missing cosmetic products. Girl, <laughs> really? So please don't try test my patience by making threats. I'm a business woman who respects everyone she works with and one who appreciates and values relationships. Uh, let's not make a mess of something that need, need, need not be a mess. Once we have concluded our industry rate comparison and you, you will gladly be paid. I don't appreciate extortion or threats. Have a blessed day ahead. Wow. Okay. So... Oh, Miss Dineo came back uh, talking about how she is not going to take lightly to threats. Okay. Um, this is a woman that we have seen. Okay. Talking to that poor man, shouting at him in public. And she didn't care who was filming and who was watching her do all of that foolery. Okay. So now my question is. Did, didn't Dineo know that she had hired somebody? Or, again, this is an entirely different business. If you're going to take on a certain business, ma'am, you need to be at least know what's going on in your business, within your business. Because this is not this is not good for your brand. This is not going to go well with your brand, okay? I don't know how they do things in South Africa, but here, girl, as a business, as a business owner in the makeup industry, and you're saying all of that stuff. Oh my gosh. Here they would, they, they, your, your business will just go, you will go out of business within hours. How, how they would treat you here. If you don't know how to speak to people in that way, because this is scandal. Okay. I mean, like if, if, if somebody's done her work and you don't get paid, like that's, a, that is, that is slavery. Allegedly, okay. I don't mean how to say allegedly, but but we know what it is, okay. Nobody wants to work. You wake up and you drive yourself. You know you have to put gas in your car. You're driving. You gotta eat there. You do all of this stuff. You're using your own money, okay. And and at the end of the day, when you have rendered the service, you have to be paid. So I don't know if it's a matter of she has to now take her this business to to court because now allegedly she's been accused of stealing. 3,000 rand worth of makeup, cheap makeup. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, girl. Let's just do cheap makeup. Okay, where, where does that's all I wanted to say about that whole little thing there. But as a business owner, I think you have to know what's happening in within your business, within your company. Okay, 
You can't just hire somebody and not pay them. I'm sorry. I'm not, this is not me talking as, um, you know, being a commentary and stuff like that, but it's like, just, it's common sense. Okay. Don't you guys review your monthly, you know, what's happening like every week. You don't review what's going on within your company. All right. I don't know. Maybe you do it every week or maybe every day, you know, like you want to be hands on. Okay. This is the beauty industry. This is the beauty industry, ma'am. Okay. I know she had talked about you in the same, um, industry, you know, Udineo, yeah, she's just probably just started being in the beauty industry and she doesn't probably know what the beauty industry it really is. All right. That's a different ball game. Okay. Beauty industry. It's not the industry to be played around with girl. Okay. This is, this is, it's different. All right. Cause you are playing now with like people, you know, skin. And if somebody, that means her, her company, if I buy her products and, and then, um, I get a reaction from one of her products and they, you know, cause some rush or whatever on my skin. And then I, if I put in a complaint within a, a company, they're not going to answer me in three, three weeks or a month or so. Allegedly, I don't know, you know. Like if they're treating somebody that they have hired to come and do a service and they can't pay her, like what the hell, man? Seriously, I just want to know. But, okay, next time it just teaches everybody that you have to make sure if, you, if you're going to render a service to these so-called celebrities, all right, make sure, you know, you give them... Don't just give them a rate, you know, have a, what do you call, you know, go see a lawyer or somebody and, and, and create a, um, your terms and condition and they have to sign them. All right. Make sure your business also is legit because you're going to have people like this that are out there, you know, out there ready to use people, to use your time. Okay, using you using your time. Like basically, I feel like she was used if they don't want to pay her. And now after the fact that you're gonna say your products were stolen by her? Are you are you serious? You know, you agreed to pay her, then pay her, pay her her rates. Okay, pay her her rates. If your business has so much money, if you're doing great, all right, you would pay her and then take the matter to the court and say my products were stolen, but you have to pay her. You can't just now say that you're going to take money. You, the, the, the products that were lost, you will take it out of her. How do you know it was her? How do you know? Maybe it's one of your team. They took the products allegedly to go and sell them. I don't know. Okay. So don't hire people just to make fun of them. I feel like it's just so disrespectful. Okay. If you don't have money, just say you don't have money. If you could not afford her rates, you should have just said, I can't afford your rates. Your, your rates are higher. But because maybe, I don't know, allegedly they didn't want to be looked, like, looked at as if they don't have money. And why? Why? And the, there's another thing. Why didn't they go to Umi Shali? Why didn't they go to her? Because they probably knew they couldn't pay her rates, right? So they had to go and use somebody that is not as big as Umithlal. You gotta ask yourself all these questions. Why didn't they go with, with Umithlal? Because Mithlali has a team, probably has a lawyer, you know, she's packed. You can't touch her. You can't, you can't hire Mithlali and then not, not pay her. So to all the beauty influencers in South Africa, take note, okay? Take note, be careful to not be taken advantage of because of all this like small little um, uh, makeup brands that they don't have money and don't want to pay you. If they don't, if they knew that they don't have money, okay, we will pay you in products. Fine. Then the other person have to agree that, okay, I'm not going to get money out of this, but I will get products. Okay, great. You can do that also. But, you know, it, to say, to agree that, yes, I will pay you this rate. Where did she sign? Did she sign somewhere? Okay. You got to be careful. You got to, you got to also protect your end. Don't just, you know, do things, oh, because I got a gig, I got a gig, okay, yeah, I know, you know, things are tough right now in South Africa, people are not, they don't have jobs, people are suffering, it's, 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 it's difficult, but don't let these brands come and take advantage of you, 
Okay, they take advantage and now she's tarnishing her name saying that products were stolen. 3,000 rands worth of products were stolen. Products from where? Okay, I'm sorry, man. I'm <laughs> Ooh, girl, I don't know. I don't know. Like if this brand was, was here in North America, that brand would be shut today. Like, they, girl, like they would, you have no idea what it goes around here. Like, girl. You can't, oh my goodness, oh my gosh. You're lucky you're in South Africa. People don't actually know what the beauty industry is, okay? Ma'am, if you want to go into the beauty industry, please know the industry, you know, all in all. Because now she was saying that they are doing investigation about the rates. Because they don't know. So get into the business knowing what exactly you are doing. Okay, we know the beauty industry is a billion dollar industry and everybody wants to get into it so they can get the little piece of that cake. All right. So in South Africa, there's not a lot of those beauty brands. And if you're going to start and you want to just take advantage of other people, allegedly. Okay, I don't think that's I don't think that's, you know, that's that's all right. I don't think so. If your beauty brand is so great, ma'am, go to Mithali. Mithali probably charges a few, you know, a few thousands. All right. See where they will get away with that. All right. Next time they should just go to her. Cause I mean, you know, your beauty brand is, is so great. Mm hmm. I'm sure she won't steal your product allegedly. You know, I mean, yeah, that is, I don't feel like this is like, <laughs> I don't feel like this is a good thing. You know, I feel like uh, if you hire people, you have to pay them and you shouldn't be coming up with excuses and excuses. So yeah, I don't know what you guys think. Okay. If you're a beauty influencer, young and coming, you know, be careful. The people that will take advantage of you like this, know the good brands and know the bad brands. You know, I don't feel, I don't even want to put this brand name here on this video. I don't want to uh, give them free advertisement. All right. I don't want to give them free advertisement. All right, I, I feel I feel really upset about this now because, you know, she should know better. She should know better herself, okay? She would never, never work for free. You should never, ever take people's ad people advantage like that. Like, um, come on now, huh? You can't. She would never. Dinewa Ranaka, I promise you right now, allegedly, Dinewa would not work for free. And why does she feel like the other, another person has to work for free? And then after the fact, after three weeks, for God's sake, man, like after so long, then you're going to come up with stories saying, oh, this and this and this was stolen. What? Is it excuse? Is it, why is she coming up with excuses, guys? Do you think her company is making that much money to not pay to, you know, like, like what's going on? Okay. You're a beauty brand. Okay. Beauty brand. Where is your product? Where is her product being made? I mean, I think we need transparency here. Okay. You're a beauty brand here in North America. They want to know everything to support your beauty brand. Okay. They want to know everything. People don't want to be putting products. They don't know where they're being made. And then you're going to come here and be, you know, big shot. Yeah. You're a big shot. Wow. Okay. So anyway, uh, there were other few emails. That were exchanged between U Felicia Zwane and I, I'm guessing here with the people that work for Dinero for that beauty brand. So I'm gonna just put out the email here and you can just pause and uh, read it yourself. Um, you know, whatever that you get out of it. And uh, yeah, you can just pause and read. Let me know what y'all think about it. But at the end of the day, I do feel like it's unprofessional that it takes them three weeks to get back to her. Like she should not be the one running after them. You know, you know, like, you know, you got to pay somebody, pay them, pay them for their time, their service. It's out of respect. Okay. They, but you have no idea how like the influencers as like they will influence anybody. Okay. Especially like you're a new brand. You are a new brand. You want to be looked at as a good brand. You want customers. You want to make money. So I, I don't get it. I don't get how the the attitude allegedly, like the way she was speaking to her, the way the text, like, I mean, she was saying that she was being threatened. Like, I, don't, I didn't see any threats there, ma'am. 
honestly, I didn't see any threats. I, I, all I saw was she was telling her facts. Like, honestly, if I worked for somebody and didn't get paid for so long and you think I was supposed to just sit around and be happy about it and just ask, oh, guys, are you going to put, okay, okay, I'll wait for you. No, no, no. She, you would be upset too. Anybody would be upset to go work for free. All right. You know, people got bills to pay, Dineo. People have homes. They, they got things to do. Okay. They, people have money to, they need money to pay gas. They need money to buy food, all of that. And, and it, South Africa cannot provide work for its citizens. So many people have now, you know, uh, resorted to starting their own businesses. And if she, that's her business as much as, uh, as your makeup brand is your business. All right. She respected your business enough to come work for your business to promote your brands. And then at the end of the day, you, you know, allegedly, you know, she stole 3000 Rand worth of, of uh, makeup, like girl. <laughs> anyway, girls, I, I, you know, I don't want to, you know, just keep blabbering about this whole thing, but I, I don't think, you know, we should, we should call BS when we see it. Okay. I think that this is BS, you know, I, I would be going crazy if somebody said that to me after I've worked for them and they don't want to pay me. I don't know if it's a thing in South Africa where people just get away with this. Like, I mean, you know, if you can girl, like, I mean, you know, go, go and seek help, legal help and, and, and find out what is this, you know? Because at the end of the day, you can sue the business. Mm-hmm. Mm. Did you know that? Did you know that? All of that stuff that they've been saying about you, okay? That, that That's all evidence. That's all evidence. You know? So I think uh, she needs to put her money where her mouth is and actually just write this woman a check when she's old and pay her for her time, you know? Imagine, like, imagine going to work, you, you drive yourself there, you know? This is not, like, you know when you have your own business, it's not like uh, you're working for somebody where everything is taken care of, where they give you transportation money, or they even give you a company car and stuff like that. You're working for yourself, okay? So you're driving to these places to go render that service, and then at the end of the day, you know, they just spit in your face and they don't, they don't pay you. Like, where do they do that at? Okay. But Dalam Tanabant and this girl, look at her makeup, man. Like, wow. I think her makeup is bomb. Okay. She's freaking amazing with her makeup looks. She kills it every time. But anyway, Mithali is the, the only, is the one and only makeup youtuber of south africa she's the only one okay anybody else there does not exist okay nobody else in south africa know how to do makeup but that Sally. she is bomb she does makeup now that nobody and, and you see people like Bo felicia that just do it's just so easy like her, you know she does this makeup looks that are just like freaking awesome so anyway guys uh you let me know what you think about this whole thing do you think that Dineo Ranaka was wrong? Do you think that Dineo Ranaka is supposed to pay Felicia? Do you think Felicia can take this matter, you know, legally? She can take this matter legally and protect her name because now her brand is being tarnished, saying that she stole something. Now, what are other people going to say about her when they see this? Oh, I want to hire her to come do my makeup. Oh, is she going to come allegedly to steal stuff here? You know what I mean? You know, you must watch your words. You know, this is your name. It's your business, girl. This is your business. And you're going to let a person like Bo Dineo just because she's a celebrity. Toxic. Toxic. She's toxic. I've seen a lot of things about her. She's very toxic. Nye, 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 talking about women empowerment, women empowerment, this and this and that. What is the emp Where is the empowerment here? Where is it? Where's the empowerment, ma'am? Oh, maybe she thinks she's going to be the, uh, the next Rihanna and be a billionaire. <laughs> Girl. You... 
You guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. You guys don't get it. Rihanna makes her own makeup. She does not source her makeup from China. Yeah. She makes her own makeup, girl. Okay? Not harmful products. That's why her stuff is top notch. You know? And they, her company don't disrespect, you know, customers in that way or influencers in that way. Like, they are always looking for customers. They're always looking for influencers. Maybe, Felicia, you should look into uh, uh, international brands, girl. Because this, you know, local brands there, you try to help them. You try to uplift them. And they treat you like trash, okay? They treat you like trash. So what should she, she, what should, what do you think she's supposed to do here? Because for me, my opinion, number one, I feel her name has been dragged through the mud. Okay. Now everybody around in South Africa now know that Felicia, they say allegedly she stole 3000 rands worth of product. Like that, your name is being dragged through the mud, girl. What you going to do? What you going to do to protect your name? I feel you, you, you need to take it up, you know, with the legal people. Just, just, even if you don't take it up to, with them, just find out what does this mean? You know, re regards to your name, what does this mean? Do you just have to just let it go and let it, you know, let people talk crap about you? Things they don't know about you? You know, if you know full heartedly, you know, you did not take any of her products. Okay. So, you know, next time, girl, you know, have, have a contract, so, you know, have a, a proper contract, you know, like somebody legally look into it. And you can, if you don't know how to make a, a, a contract, you can pay a lawyer to draft you a legal contract for your business. Every person, especially big companies, like companies that want to uh, hire you and stuff like that, okay, make them sign that contract and make sure it's legal. So when next time some stupid, some stupid makeup brand does this to you, you know where to go. You can sue their, hmm, I mean, you can sue them for, for doing that and for saying that about you. All right, you got you guys better be smart. You better be smart. You gotta stop saying, "Oh my God, they gave me no, 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 no." Okay, no, 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 no. All right, there's contracts. There is contracts that needs to be signed, and you cannot let brands walk all over you like that. Okay, this is ridiculous, girl. So anyway, you guys, let me know what y'all think about this whole thing, and uh, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. And hanging out with me and uh, I hope you were subscribed okay because it's free yet again I gotta you know I don't want to go there anyway thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you again on my next one ciao